Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, OWASP's dependency check and what is the purpose of using it. See, uh, every project needs some other uh, jar files, like we call them as third party jar files. We need to configure uh, them and then we have to use them. So when we use that, we don't know what is the vulnerabilities that has uh, there in that jar files. So we need to uh, know about those vulnerabilities. See, this dependency check does that uh, scanning and then let us know what are all the issues that we have. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about how to configure dependency check with Maven and how to run a scan and then seeing the HTML report with the issues and if some issues are false positives or some vulnerabilities are false positives, how to suppress them. Uh, and then a uh, few dependencies are not used or not bundled with the final artifact, the jar or var files. So those cannot need not to be uh, scanned or analyzed. So how to skip them? So all these topics we are going to discuss in this video. So for that, I have a project okay so in the github and you have to clone it into the eclipse and in the form.xml uh, we have to add a maven plugin for the dependency check so that maven plugin should can be added in two places one is either in the build section or it can be added on reporting section when you add it in a build section so then uh, it comes into default life cycle so that you can run with verify goal or if you want to use it in the uh, site life cycle then you can add it in the reporting form so generally we add them into the build plugin so that whenever you build the artifacts it does the scan and if it is having any issues we can fail the build itself okay so how to add that plugin so i have this plugin and so this is dependency check maven this is the plugin name okay so you can just copy that and then you can run so I'll provide the details in the description so what you need to do is go to the run configurations and you have to run verify okay so after the running the test cases and then packaging then this verify runs so it takes some time to download the dependencies and download the data about uh, vulnerabilities available so from it, it downloads from nvd so it will save it into your dot uh, folder so once the execution is completed then you can see the build success where uh, i ignored the test case failure so after these build success it, it generates the html report so just refresh and go to the target so here you have this html so just open with the uh, okay so show in system explorer here dependency check open with chrome okay so this is your dependency check where you can see how many dependencies that has the issues and total how many vulnerabilities that has been found okay so these are the list of uh, dependencies okay so it, it provides like for this one how many vulnerabilities that has been there and you can review it and uh, you can analyze which vulnerabilities has to be fixed and which can be ignored so if you want to ignore what you need to do is you need to click on this suppress and complete XML doc so it, it generates an XML file it looks like this and so it looks like this so this file you have to put it into uh, your uh, system like uh, let's say for example here I'm going to create a new file new file I'll name it as suppressions.xml and you can keep it. So one or more suppressions you can add 
once you add the separations.xml next time if you want to run it then you have to do it let's say I'll, I'll let's suppress the other one mm, i'll make it like this one so copy so remove this suppress and i'll put it okay this suppressions.xml has to be pointing in your uh, plugin so here in this section you can add configuration okay so suppression It has to be configuration and then suppression file so it, it's outside of your executions sorry yeah suppression files and then suppressions.xml so once you run it this particular run will ignore whatever the suppressions that you have added into uh, that xml so if you see here now you have 76 now one so vulnerability will be decreased let's take second second yeah it's finished analysis started and analysis completed build success so if you see 75 and that particular one uh, that has been uh, removed from these dependencies okay so this is how you can ignore uh, the false positives from your uh, re html report okay now see the vulnerability suppressed is one now there are some certain uh, dependencies which you which will not go into the uh, bundled uh, jar or var file so let's say for example this h2 which is in runtime or mysql okay so what you want to do is you want to ignore or suppress this uh, versions okay so how do you do that so this test or uh, runtime or provided they'll not be part of your uh, bundle jar so that can be configured in the configurations with these two properties skip provided scope skip runtime scope is true so when i do that then you, the george with the george with the uh, suppressed sorry the george with the uh, runtime and uh, the george with the uh, provided scopes will be ignored for the scan okay so just it takes a second so build success if i if you see it's 75 right now so the uh, there are uh, 10 that has been removed and the dependencies that has been removed by two okay so this is how uh, you have uh, to work with dependencies right? so this these jars has to be these dependencies has to be updated then all uh, vulnerabilities found should be zero and you can add into the suppressed okay so whenever you add more jars or new versions of jars if you see any vulnerabilities found more than one your build should fail so uh, a developer should work on that and then fix it okay thanks